Now it's time to tap into something sweet. Since today is World Chocolate Day, we're getting some candy coated insights into the sweet treats that melt in your mouth. Carly Schildhaus from the National Confectioners Association is with us now to talk about new trends, longtime favorites, and just why almost everybody loves chocolate. I'm not gonna say everybody, Carly. I am definitely a chocolate lover, but I'm sure there's gonna be a few out there that are like, no chocolate for me. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you so much for having me. Happy World Chocolate Day. And I'm so glad to hear that you're a fellow chocolate lover. <laughs> I mean, I don't, some people can't have it, I'm sure. Like like our one of our producers here, Joe, he can't have chocolate. So he is having to miss out. But I would love to share with everybody else about some of America's favorite chocolate treats. What can you tell us? So we actually asked Americans last month, June is National Candy Month. If it's not on your calendar, make sure make sure it is for next year. <laughs> but we asked Americans what their favorite treats are for the summer. And most Americans said it said chocolate. Just after that were gummy candies and hard candies, which we love as well. But chocolate is a uh, is a favorite of many Americans uh, throughout the year and especially over the summer. So we're number one when it comes to chocolate. Chocolate's number one. Um, why do you think that Americans love chocolate and candy in general? Chocolate and candy have this really unique ability to brighten spirits, lighten moods, and bring a little bit of joy to people's lives, whether that's part of a celebration that they're having or even just to, to brighten up a pretty ordinary day. Chocolate and candy can bring you that little bit of joy and excitement. Oh, for sure. And as you meant, you saw earlier, we kind of have this little chocolate spread in front of us. Maybe some, mm -hmm. some very common treats that you're going to see when you head out to the store or maybe during Halloween or other times of the year. Um, and chocolate keeps being innovated. So obviously there's the classics, but what are some of the trends you're seeing and how chocolate's being used in with candy? We also just had the Sweets and Snacks Expo where companies bring their newest and most exciting innovations and uh, uh, it's the different treats that'll end up on shelves for consumers in the coming months. And so we saw a few different trends. One thing we saw was incorporating tropical flavors. So some chocolate mixed with coconut or oh. pineapple, really trying to bring that beach vacation home. <laughs> we saw a lot of mix and match flavors as well. So you'll see things like mocha and chocolate or a brownie brittle product that incorporates Reese's Pieces. So different treats that incorporate multiple flavors. And then a trend we continue to see is smaller pack sizes. So as people are looking to manage their sugar intake, companies are focused on those smaller pack sizes, making sure that people have the options they need to make informed choices about how they treat. Very interesting. And do we know, Carly, how often are Americans enjoying chocolate and candy? I mean, I, I kind of think I do it most days of the week. Yeah, well, you're a little bit above average. I'm also a little bit above <laughs> average. Uh, yes, on average, Americans are enjoying chocolate and candy two to three times per week. That average is just 40 calories per day. And they're incorporating that into things, into candy moments, into celebrations, or as perhaps you and I do, uh, enjoying them <laughs> on a typical, a typical day um, for, again, that little bit of brightness and sweetness. I'm glad you're with me on that one, Carly. I can't be the only one. And what is the go-to <laughs> chocolate candy for this summer? Is there one that's kind of stand out above the rest? You know, everybody has their own personal favorite. And as you mentioned, there are classics, there's innovation. Um, one thing we're seeing a lot of this summer, and it makes a lot of sense, is s'mores. So we're seeing okay. a lot of people enjoying that little backyard treat. Um, so I highly recommend doing so. I've been enjoying them all summer. I, and I'm a think s'mores it's a great fan addition. as well, and I will co-sign on that. Carly, thanks so much. That was a lot of fun. If you want more sweet insights, you can visit Candy USA.